Graphic Lover, this is Heather from SisterWigs.com, and today I'm bringing you a short and sweet color spotlight of the RL33-35, also known as Deepest Ruby, from the Raquel Welch line. When I first started looking for wigs, I knew I wanted to wear reds, because I look really good in reds, just saying. And I, I didn't know which to get between the Cinnabar in the True to Life Fiber and this one, the Deepest Ruby. And so I called the customer service phone numbers for multiple of my now competitors, trying to see, uh, you know, if they could give me some insight on what the color looked like, and they were all pretty much useless. <laughs> so I was like, right, somebody's gonna show people what the heck these colors look like. So it brings me quite a bit of satisfaction personally to be able to show you this color on me come in full circle with this. So this is Deepest Ruby on Straight Up with a Twist by Raquel Welch. This is a heat friendly color. They, as of right now, do not make this in the non heat friendly, which is kind of a shame. But honestly, it's probably not gonna be much of an issue on a really short bob like the Straight Up with a Twist. You're not gonna have to worry too much about tangling at the nape on something this short. This is a beautiful color. It's kind of like, you know, if they took the cinnabar, which is a slightly lighter, more copper red, they diminished all the copper tones and added some little burgundy and even some purple. There, there's a tiny, tiny, little itty bitty, and it may not even pick up on camera, but there's just a tiny, tiny little bit of violet in here. This isn't gonna look like a fake color though. Like, it just looks like a really beautiful, soft, multi-tonal, dark auburn. But rather than pulling chestnut, it does look a little bit more like, you know, kind of a, a beautiful, dark sort of ruby amethyst color. It's, it's a lovely red. To me, this one isn't quite as natural looking as something like the Cinnabar, but it's a beautiful kind of salon worthy color. It looks like the sort of thing you would go in and have your hair dyed to look like. Now it's not what I would consider in any way an edgy color. So even though it's got those little pops of violet in it, it, it doesn't really pull violet. Does this look violet to you? Because the way it's showing up on camera is how this actually looks. Um, those violet tones I tried to mention at the beginning are extremely subtle. They're, they're hard to, to see even when the wig's in your hand. And here's a closer look at that really bright color I mentioned earlier. It's, it's not really that crazy bright, but you do get a little bit more of it right at the front hairline. So if you're gonna try to find that sort of red violet color, that's really where you're gonna spot it, is at the front. But as you can tell, it's still really subtle and well blended. You're only really gonna notice them when someone's really staring up on the hair. So this is definitely an office appropriate color, in spite of the stuff I mentioned just a second ago. So there you have it. This is Deepest Ruby. It's really pretty. It's not crazy looking. I've seen on some websites of my competitors where they take pictures of the individual wigs on mannequin heads that this looks way crazier in those photos than this actually looks in real life. Uh, so hopefully this has helped you out a little bit and clarified what this color really looks like. I'm Heather Rome from SisterWigs.com. If you like what we do and our mission for color clarity, make sure you check out our wig store, which is just C-Y-S-T-E-R-W-I-G-S.com. And until next time, have a great afternoon, everybody. Bye-bye.